hello everyone so in last video we have seen about how actually we can create azure synapse workspace so in this particular video we will continue and we will try to learn more about the serverless sql pool what is the dedicated sql pool and all okay so let us re recap what we have learned till now so uh, azure synapse is nothing but uh, it is a common space where we can perform all the kind of the activity like the ingestion computation and the connector so for the ingestion we can create any kind of the data flow activity data pipeline similarly what we were doing in azure data factory right so for the computation if we'll talk about for the computation we get the serverless we get the serverless uh, sql pool we also get the dedicated sql pool and also we get the uh, spark sql pool okay so these three options we get generally in a computation. Now let us talk about the connector. From the connector perspective, like if you want to connect with any kind of the visualization, so we get a direct connection with the Power BI. So all these kind of the three activity we can do in a common space that is nothing but Azure Synapse. Okay. So now let us talk more about the serverless SQL pool and the dedicated SQL pool. So in this video, we are mostly ta targeting about the serverless SQL pool. Serverless SQL pool okay so what is serverless sql pool it is nothing but it is similar to what we have in a our athena if you if you know about the in aws term we have a athena right it is similar to that okay now if you don't know about the athena so let me try to explain you what generally happens so in a server suppose you have a data suppose we have a data data in a azure storage account or the uh, we can say the adls our Azure Data Lake storage account, okay, ADLS location, okay. So what actually happened with the help of, with the help of serverless SQL pool, pool we can query on top of it, on top of it of it okay we don't need any so what actually have suppose you have data in adls location so with the help of the server sql pool if you want to query that data we can directly do with the help of the serverless sql pool okay for that we don't need a dedicated uh, data warehousing kind of the thing directly we can query on top of the data okay so that is the advantage of the serverless sql pool in case of the dedicated sql pool what actually happened you should have a uh, whatever the computation and for the storage both both will be happen in a common space in common space okay and for that we need a cluster and we have to assign we have to provision the cluster for this we need a cluster for that okay but in the case of the serverless sql pool if your data is available in azure data lake storage account you we can directly query we don't need a we don't need to provision the any kind of the cluster and we can directly query on the top of it okay now let me show you in practical so that we'll get more understanding about it okay let me open so if you have seen we have seen like in last video like how actually we can we can create a synapse workspace right once you will create a synapse workspace we get option to create the data lake storage account also so i have i have also created the data lake if i will click here what i will do i will go to the my storage container i will try to create one container this we have already seen okay now let me give a container like a data this is a container i am giving okay data this is the container i am giving i am making it a public and clicking on the create okay so this is the data which we have created okay what i will do i will try to upload one file let me try to upload one file i'll go to uh, in desktop employee let me uh, upload this department file upload it okay and if i will show you this particular file so we have data like this okay we have user department and the designation okay now if you want to query it okay so what i will do i will open my the synapse workspace okay once you will create the uh, synapse workspace uh, we will get option to open synapse studio so once you will open the synapse studio you will get to see this particular screen okay what we have to do we have to go to this data option okay in workspace whatever the database you will create uh, that will come into the workspace 
and in a link whatever the data lake storage account is attached to that uh, that you will get to see here okay and if you want to attach more you can do that now this is the particular storage account we have and if we we'll talk about uh, let me refresh first okay you can see this is the particular container we have created right now here we will be having a data whatever we have loaded now you can see this is the department or csv we have loaded right now if you want to run on top of this particular so if you you just have to create right click and click on the new sql script okay now if you don't know the scripting also directly the automatically the script will get generated for you so what i will do new sql script select top 100 rows if i will do this is the particular script got generated automatically so what actually happened with the help of the open row set we directly query this particular data which is available in a data container department or csv and the format is csv and if you want to run this we have to click on the run okay so okay so this is how actually it is happening let me run again okay so it is executing now okay so how actually it is happening it is happening because of the serverless sql pool we don't have any dedicated data warehousing we have a data that is available in our adls account and we are able to query this particular data now if you will see uh, the, uh, the the column it is showing like c1 c2 c3 but if you want to make the column also then i think the header row header row equal to the true you have to pass okay if you will pass header row equal to true okay now if you will try to run it let's see whether it's working fine or not you will get to see the first row as a header okay now you can see our first row is header user department designation so that is how the script will create and if you want to query any kind of the query if you want to write you can directly query like this okay so that is how actually we can use a serverless sql pool if you have a data that is available in adls account you can directly query on top of it okay i hope you got it thank you